Hello, and welcome to 21st Century Talk Show. I'm Angelique. Here at 21st Century, we look to bring the Bible to life in these modern times in which we live. Today's segment is entitled, Be Present. And we're gonna talk about how you can be truly present in your life today. I wrote about this topic in my weekly blog post, and we'll try to have a link below so you can check it out. We'll chat about some tips and strategies how you can show up and be truly present in your life right now during this holiday season, but really throughout the year. Before we get started, however, I'd like to share a little bit about how this talk show came about. It all started with the weekly blog post that comes out on Fridays at 8 a.m. called 21st Century Godly Living. God had inspired me to write about various topics that involve our everyday lives in these modern times, however, but with a godly perspective. And truth be told, I had never read a blog, let alone wrote one. But looking at this topic or various topics and how God has impacted our lives, whether you're a Christian or not, the Bible shares how God created us and it is the blueprint for how we can live our best lives. So again, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And please share this link because you don't know who could be impacted with what we share here on 21st Century Talk Show. So now our segment today, Be Present. Uh, I want to first start out and share a story with you, and we'll get into a little bit more about this. There's this mother and daughter who were planning, along with the rest of the family, for a huge family event, like a big family reunion. It's going to happen at the beach. However, it was going to be months away, but it was going to be big. So the young daughter was just talking about it incessantly. She was constantly wanting to just go now, just not wanting to skip everything and just go. So the mother thought this is a teaching moment, so she said, okay. She said, you know what, if you really want to go, we can go. However, I want you to be aware. This party you were invited to, this event, that event, this festivities, you will not be able to attend. Do you still want to go? And then she thought about it and she was like, no, I miss too much. And the mother in love said, be happy for what you can do and what you have right now. So I share that story to say this, how many of us can really relate? How many times do we want to rush the present away? If we're at school or work, we can't wait for the day to be over. Or if we're in the middle of the week, we can't wait for the weekend. Or if we have a big trip that starts on a Monday, we can't wait for the weekend to be over so Monday can start. So we're just constantly rushing our lives, wishing our present away. But we don't stop and take the time to think, God gave us this beautiful gift of time to each of us, but yet we're running fast paced, looking towards the future. And when we're wishing time away and we speed things up, we miss the little blessings that God has planned for each and every one of us every day. So I'd like to take a little few moments just to share some tips for now, the holidays and always on how we can look to be present right now. Um, so currently we're living in uh, COVID-19, uh, basically a pandemic. I'm here um, in the United States where we're recording, but it's all over the world. And this pandemic has really caused an economic downturn. Um, and here in the United States and all over the world, people, a business have shuttered and closed. People have lost their jobs and so um, lost their lives to this dreadful um, pandemic. So there's a lot going on. Even despite us living in this current situation, being present and being focused on your life today is what it should be all about. Because uh, tomorrow is not promised to us. Again, very, over 200,000 people just in the United States alone have lost their lives. Their families are devastated. So tomorrow is really not promised to any of us. And that was even before the pandemic um, began. We're not to promised tomorrow. So really be focused and engaged and present today is what this is all about. So just a few suggestions to help you in being truly present today. First suggestion, celebrate the tiny joys and the big ones too. A sunrise and a sunset. God's beautiful skies, whether it's clear and sunny or even rainy. A roof over your head, transportation, food. Being free to worship God as you please. Again, I'm recording this in the United States and here in the United States, we are free to worship 
as we please. However, there are people in other parts of the country who do not have this luxury. So just to have that luxury, even in this COVID situation, um, a pandemic situation, we're able to um, freely worship. My church has a drive-in church where we get to go and um, see each other in our cars, honk horns, and enjoy the music and the preaching. Some churches are open now, but this is a blessing because in other places, this is not so. So just being celebrating the big joys and little joys every day. Get away from the digital world. Next tip. Take some time to shut off your phone, pad, tablet, computer, even the TV. And go outside. Look to enjoy God's beautiful nature. And now also with the digital world, it could be an upside to that. Because of this pandemic situation, we may not can go and meet people or what have you, not as frequently as we used to, but maybe turn on the uh, phone or your pad or computer and Skype or Zoom or WebEx or just plain phone call. But I encourage you not to do social media surfing and gossipy news and all that. Get away from that. But then look to engage and, and call somebody and just to see how they're doing. Um, I did a segment before this, I think some of you may have checked it out, about loneliness, especially for those who are single or newly single. This is a perfect opportunity for you to engage with them, being present in their lives and they in turn present in yours and talking about life and just being that person for them and they for you. Next tip is to breathe. Breathe deeply in and out. And every breath that you take, think about God. Think about his goodness in your life. Think about him giving you that breath of life. And focus on the positives. We all have a lot of negatives that we can focus on. But just for that moment, try to put all that aside and breathe deeply and thank God for your breath and that you're still here. And maybe family and friends are still here. And you could just take that time to be present in the moment. Next tip, be present in your listening without intending to respond. Here's what I mean. Sometimes you'll get involved in conversations, a group, or maybe one-on-one -on -one with family, friends, coworkers, and you get involved with the conversation and then you kind of interject while they're saying, you're saying, sometimes, in, sometimes too much. And I have to admit, I'm kind of guilty of that. And so I have to watch it. And some of us are, we are, we are very guilty of interjecting the conversation. So look to really engage, sometimes not even make a response by just smiling and letting the other person know that you're there and you're listening. So truly be present and focused in on their conversation and not anticipating when you can jump in, when you can say something. So just be present and enjoy this individual as they're sharing. Next tip, be okay in not knowing all the answers. In this time we're living in, we become so stressed and so worried about the future for ourselves and our loved ones, families and friends. And we can get really exhausted and really worked up. And we can't be fully present, but learn to relax. Learn to realize and accept that you and I do not have all the answers and we cannot control the future. We don't know what the future would be for ourselves, our loved ones, family or friends, no one. But I know someone who does, and that's God. He has us and this world, who he created all, in his hands, and so he knows what the future holds. So right now, there's a time to exercise that faith and relax and be present in the moment and know and do what you can in the moment and for your life and your loved ones, do whatever you physically and humanly can, but don't stress and worry so much in the future. Let it go and know that he has it all day by day, and he will take you and I through whatever trying times, pandemic, economic downturn, or if we get past this, other things that come in our future, he has it all under control. So really look to exercise your faith during this time. So in closing, I just want to say, I want to truly encourage you all to practice being present. And when I say practice, because it doesn't necessarily come naturally, especially into fast-paced modern society, 21st century, we're all going here and there, families, marriages, raising kids, jobs, what have you, traveling, you name it, paying bills. We're all so busy and being torn here and there. So it does take time. And these are just a few tips. There's probably many more that you can even research and look into. 
but take that time to practice being present. Practice where you are, being appreciative with those around you and surrounding you. And learn to be truly present in your life. Not just someday, but today. Peace and blessings to you. Take care now, and we'll talk to you soon. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us on our segment, Be Present. Our next segment is entitled, New Year, New Outlook for 2021. So we can't wait to share with you. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.